Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Look, I don't want any trouble. Just let me through. Pretty please. How about you pretty please me? <laughs> all right, all right. Go on. No, no. I'd, I'd rather live here. Oh, gracious Just creature! And, and benign! Visiting to these elements of your... Us! Through the world with, with, with bloody stain and brood! If, if for a friend, the king of all we owned, our prayer to him should for thy peace arise! Sounds like paradise. Blue butter? What the hell are they taking? Blue, huh? Probably a Sefabricol derivative. Preem rot. Veins were popping with it during the third corporate. 24 hours, you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame them then? Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find them? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. V, hey. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hello? There's a line. Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. You want out, you gotta pay me back. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Mocks don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever, I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me, just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how, exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Think Evelyn's been kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her.
You see a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. Here. This ought to cover you for some real now chrome. From a real ripper. If you're flush enough to afford a real reaper, then what are you doing here? Hell do you care? That? He here cause he feel like it. Now thank the man unless you and me Delta. I can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's adjust. done. We going in? Eventually. Come on, let's go. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your... clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction... I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a... friend? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every Focus one. Me. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Forrest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Woodman and I, we had a talk. Told me he brought her here to you. Said you paid him for her. What good was she to you? <laughs> you must have misheard. First of all, I didn't pay in any for her. He paid me to take her in. Second, I never laid eyes on those eddies in the end because I couldn't rejig her implant. So he left her with me as payment for my efforts. Uh, I can't fucking listen to this. We are talking about a living, breathing person. Half alive. Technically. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what exactly? 
if I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look. The quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Where we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! <laughs>